The particular driver has been the Kyoto Protocol's clean development mechanism, which has generated possibly up to about $7 billion for investment in projects in developing countries that reduce or avoid greenhouse gas emissions. So already we're seeing the carbon market, largely private sector money, generating substantial investment in environmentally sound projects in the developing world. Most of Kyoto's clean development mechanism projects are quick wins. In other words, they produce offsets that reduce carbon emissions right away at a relatively low cost. The goal of the clean development mechanism is to reduce emissions where they are cheapest to reduce. That means countries like Germany or France, they have a so-called cap under the Kyoto Protocol. So they need to reduce their emissions compared to the 1990 levels by a certain amount uh, percentage. Now, whether they do that in the country themselves by increasing taxes or subsidizing uh, research and development, they can rather use that money and investing it in a country where emission reduction costs less. And the low-cost carbon credits generated by the clean development mechanism projects can be used by the industrialized country to offset their emissions. So the projects today we see happening under the clean development mechanism are mostly in countries like Brazil, India, China, those are the big players. <laughs>